Yeah. Uncle Bull come back. This is the Mad Balls chocolate. The Mad Balls chocolate. And uh, I don't know anything about this pepper, but you want the bigger one? I don't care. I already ate one this morning. Okay, she had this. I have not tried this before, but she said she wanted a pepper, so I gave her one of these. Whoa, I don't want this one. Why? The spider web. Gotta wash that better. <laughs> Go wash that. Don't um, eat after the spider. <laughs> I, I washed it off already, but sometimes... Well, spider webs are strong. Yeah, sometimes you gotta scrub them. That happens. Let me tell you something. They use if spider you, webs to make bulletproof If vegetables. you got a spider <laughs> web on your peppers, you're in good shape because, boy, they will kill anything that comes and try. Now, they'll also kill sometimes the good pollinators, but they'll they'll kill some, some bad insects, too, or else me, at least they'll keep them away. But Let me clarify. They don't use spider webs. They use... Genetic mo genetically modified goat that creates spider milk to make bulletproof vests like 20 years ago. I happened to run across it. So that's it, guys. Mad Balls chocolate. Let's get into it. It's got that chocolate flavor like most chocolate pods. That kind of that weird, that weird bitterness. The inside of it's really cool looking. I guess it's more like an earthy flavor. Earthy. Can... It's got that, that kind of red color on the inside. And I like it. I think this would be good in a mole. You know what? That is a good chocolate pod. You guys know me. You know I don't like chocolate pods. <laughs> I Chocolate bootless, any of that stuff, man. Yeah, this is a better chocolate one. This is a good chocolate. I like chocolate ghost. And now I like this, so I found two chocolates. Chocolate scorpions, you can keep them away from me. Chocolate bootless, I used to make a sauce. It's so pretty. Let me show you guys my chocolate bootless sauce. Hold on. I got, I got, I got to show them this. This is my chocolate bootless sauce, okay? See how dark that is? Yeah, I use black garlic and truffles in this, all right? That's one of my favorite. And it's stuff. awesome. And it's got a good spice to it because the bootlets are so freaking hot. These would hot. taste good in there. Those would taste good in there. If I wanted to make a milder version, I could use them. It's the Mad Balls chocolate, guys. It's got enough heat to it. It's got some earthy tones. Not too floral. Not too bitter. I give that a big thumbs up, man. I, you know, I, my wife will tell you I don't like chocolate pods. I'm a yellow pod guy. Peach pods are pretty good, but yellow's my favorite always. Red pods, I'm 50-50. Some red pods I don't like, some I love. I think as far as yellow pods, I like them all. I don't know what it is, but... It's more floral. When you get down towards it's them. It's a lot more floral down in the middle. Yeah, when you bite into the placenta, it's got floralness. Not bad, though. Not as bad as most. Now it's starting well, to when get... When I'm getting down... When I'm taking more and more bites, it's getting quite floral, but... Now it's getting to it me. It still tastes good. Slow build. My ear just started burning. Like feels like someone put a drill in there, and not, and my lips were. Uh, yeah, it has legitimate heat. Yeah, now it's kicking my butt a little, a little bit. Wow. Go ahead, bite that whole thing. Just eat it. I'm about to stop the video. I don't want all the seeds. The seeds are fine. I don't like seeds. It tastes weird going. Seeds taste weird going down your throat. It's oh like, man. It's like dirt. It's getting me a little bit. Yeah. That was so weird. I, I know. I touched it all up on my fingers. I've been I into it. I better be figure out how to get it out of my hands. Wow. I bit into it. Didn't get no burn. I bit again, then I bit into the placenta. I still only had a little burn going on. Now, ooh, it's it a very hot The worst thing I did, I took a sip of milk out of my Uncle Bull Cow cup, and the milk does not help when you first. I'm telling you right now, it's one of the worst things you do is drink milk or water when you first eat a pepper. It spreads the capsaicin around. Brings the burn on quicker. Woo! This, when you first eat it, it really doesn't taste that hot, but 
it gets really hot. It's a it's a hot beverage. <sighs> Mad balls chocolate. Get wrecked. You wrecked? I'm wrecked. Miss Boca, it's not easy to get her wrecked. Let me tell you something. I didn't see her wrecked until last week and she competed and ate three different types of habaneros. Ghost pepper. Carolina Not Reaper. Whole back. peppers. I watched her get wrecked that day. She don't get like me though. I get in panic mode. I can't talk or nothing. It's like the the, the end of the world. Like she's I listen man, I'm not mean to my wife like that, but she takes the freaking spoon with the yogurt. The other night, I got a cup of milk. I take a little sip. I set it down. She's nursing it like this. I'm like, give me the milk. And I run. I grab another cup. Pour milk in it. I set it down. She grabs my cup of milk. Starts drinking it. I had nothing. I grab the yogurt. I got the yogurt. I take a little spoon of it. I set it down. She takes the yogurt. She's got the spoon. He's just running around everywhere. So he's leaving like, it sit inside. Little give me the... Give me the spoon! He's running around panicking again. <laughs> Panic mode. What pepper did... You know what that was? That was a red bootla. Man, that thing that was That or brutal. it was the... No, it was the red bootla. The one with the pockmark looking peach. No, the, pop, the pockmark orange peach. I'll never eat that again. Ever. It was My hot. My mouth was on fire. It didn't taste good. Absolutely not. <laughs> Guys, comment below. Let us know where you're watching from. Get and what wrecked. pepper do you like?